This video will walk you through the Startup Wizard Quick Start Guide. Before you begin, ensure that you've completed the steps outlined in the previous segment, Hardware Quick Start Guide. You can access your modem or Wi-Fi. Your DVR is connected to a display and both are powered on and visible. You have internet access available to create a Gmail or Outlook email account for your DVR. When you first turn on the DVR, it will automatically boot to the Setup Wizard's language selection screen. Select the language and then select Next to continue. Select Next. Next, enter a new password with a minimum of six characters. Now enter it again to confirm it. Make sure to write the password down somewhere safe. Next, enter an email address to receive alerts, etc. Then select Next. Next, confirm your language selection. Now select the correct video format for your region. Then select the appropriate resolution for your display. Next, select the appropriate time zone for your region. Next, select your preferred date format. Then select a 12 or 24 hour time format. Next, give your DVR a relevant name or leave it as is. The QR code and P2P ID are unique identifiers for your DVR. You can use them later when configuring the Swan Security app. Now, select Next. Your DVR requires a free Gmail or Outlook email address to send alerts and facilitate password reset requests. We recommend creating an account devoted to your DVR. We'll perform the steps with the Gmail account and show the settings for Outlook accounts on screen so you can follow along. To enable email alerts, leave the check mark in the box. Leave the Setup tab on Auto. In the Sender field, insert a sender name or leave the name displayed. In the receiver field, the email address entered in step one will be displayed. You can add two additional addresses to send alerts to. The interval field determines the length of time that must elapse after your DVR sends an email alert before it will send another. Now, select test email. If the test is successful, you'll see a notification. Next, check your inbox to ensure the test email was received. If it's not in the inbox, make sure to check the spam and junk folders. If you received an error, ensure that you've entered the correct email address and password and check all cables and connections. Then check the back of the DVR to ensure the LEDs above the Ethernet port are flashing. If not, unplug and replug the cables. You may also want to try a different port on your router. Also check your email settings to ensure access for less secure apps is enabled. After receiving a successful test notification, select OK and then Next to continue. Now, tap Update Now to sync the date and time with the server. Then select OK. Next. Check to see if the system date and time are correct. Now, select Next. If Daylight Savings Time applies to your region, select Enable. Then select the amount of time increased by Daylight Savings Time. Next, select the start and end times. Now select Finish, then click OK to exit the wizard. Congratulations! Your DVR is now ready to record video upon motion detection, send email alerts when an event has occurred, and is ready to connect to the Swan Security app. You're now ready to download the Swan Security app for your Android or iOS mobile device. Watch the segment Swan Security app for more information.